What's up, penile swabs? Dave. I'm your daddy, McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And this is the McStud Show. Episode various? 13. 13, I know, but I don't, I, I, at some point I just stopped counting. The only difference is it just distinguishes on the YouTube channel. Well, I know, so you know for the YouTube channel. Well, I know, so you know that I know that you know that I. Go fuck you in the ass. Why you gotta be like that? I just did. Oh! Yes, it's been a wonderful day in the neighborhood. This mixed I just finished a 12 and a half, 12 and a half hour work day. Is that, yeah. Yeah, 12 and a half hours. That's the longest day you've worked at this new job. Yes. I was like, I place kind of late. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still better than when you're working five hours at night. And yeah, I'm about to eight, pick that up again, too. Ugh. I got something you can pick up. Tools. It's called my penis. Mm. Malt liquor. Mm. So, I saw something when I was out and about today. Did you? Mm-hmm. Where'd you go today? I went to uh, Meyer. Oh. Yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Better than what you would see at Walmart, I guess. I saw tampons on sale. Service? Yes. <laughs> and I thought of you. Why? Because you could totally use them. Did you buy me this? Yes, I did. And you got a new puff for the shower. Yeah. I got both. Yes. You got both. And you got French bread pizza. Oh. Yeah. I'm already spoiled. I ate pizza twice a day. And you're about to eat it a third. Yeah. <laughs> I really want a piece of that cake, but I didn't get anything. Oof. Was it, what kind of cake was it? Chocolate cake with buttercream icing. It wasn't this cake. Oof. Oh, yeah. Butter, chocolate cake with buttercream icing. That'd be pretty good. It was green. Green icing or green cake? Green icing. Boy, that'll make you poop green. You ever have green icing and then your shit's green? <clears throat> like it comes out damn near like the fucking food coloring. Ew. Like if you have like a dark color, like a dark blue, something like that comes out green. <laughs> Looks like you got some bowel issues. <laughs> like what the fuck? But it's not it's not any worse that time I had all that red velvet shit and I thought I was bleeding from the rectum. Called me in the bathroom and everything. That shit scared me. Looked like it literally looked like I was bleeding from my ass. Like it wasn't even like dark shit. It was like bright red, like blood red. We had to sit there and ponder that one for a bit. What did I eat? What was it? What was it? The red velvet donuts? Donuts. Oh, the red velvet donuts from Speedway? Yes. Yeah, the Krispy Kremes. Those are delicious. Probably had too many. Probably had two that day or something. I don't know. But what the, you dye, did, the but... dye in it <laughs> fucked with me. I was like, oh my God, my ass is bleeding. It made me nauseous on the toilet. Like, I'm, I got, I'm bleeding from my ass. That's not right. <laughs> FFS. I like how we didn't have a topic to talk about, and I'm now talking about where I thought I was bleeding from my ass. Oof. Yes, that's a whole mess. That is, you're a whole mess. At least I wasn't bleeding from my snatch. This is true, but that's mm -hmm. normal. Yeah. Well, I did a. I did, that's a fucked up story. You know, I had my heavy masturbation days back in the day. Yes. I did jerk off so much that I was bleeding. Eight. Yeah, I think I caused some damage in the urethra. But I didn't use no lube. I raw dogged that shit. Oh. So my dick would be swollen after like so many times. Oh, God. <laughs> so your cum was... There was a little bit of blood in it, yeah. I got nervous about that, too. Like, well, maybe I should just stop jerking my dick. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think I ever told you that story. No. What? Uh, Fuck. Y'all learned something new today about McStud. Jerked my dick so much, had some blood in my semen. Can you imagine going to the doctor with that one? Doc, I got some blood in my semen. Well, what have you been doing the last couple of days? Jerked off about 22 times. <laughs> that might be a bit excessive, Mr. Corn. Well, you know what? It seemed like the right thing to do at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's. At least I wasn't out fucking hookers. This is true. Yes. Then I'm out of money and possibly STDs and yep. Ill illegitimate children. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you wear protection when you fuck a hooker. FFS. FFS. Yeah. We don't pay for pussy in this house. It comes free. Thief. What? It shouldn't. Oh, I, I don't pay for you. But it shouldn't come free. It is free. It shouldn't. What am I supposed to pay you then? Me? Pay you what? 
Dick? I do. More Dick. But I don't have to pay in currency. No. Okay, then. Like, I don't have to whip out my wallet and be like, well, I've got the debit card. <laughs> Ew. <clears throat> she bends over and lets me swipe it between her cheeks. Mm -mm. Yes. <clears throat> Clapping cheeks. Oh, you got a text message, Miss McStead. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my dad. Oh, that's weird. Everything okay? Oh, he asked about what football team you liked. Oh boy, wonder what they're doing now. They're pro are they are they out shopping right now? They better fucking not be. <laughs> Is, aren't they the Las, the Las Vegas Raiders now? Vegas. Yeah, uh, typically he only texts you stuff like that when he's shopping, baby. Maybe him and your mom went out for dinner or something. At 9.30 at night, their asses better be at home maybe where they're they had, safe. Maybe they're having an anniversary dinner. They decided to go to They did that on their anniversary. Well, maybe they decided to go to Anderson and then they're in Meyer or something. You never know with them. Where'd they go on their anniversary? Um, oh, then they go to Ollie's or whatever? Yeah. Whatever the fuck that is. Never heard of it until you mentioned it. It's like a big log, Mom said. A big log? Big lots. Oh, I thought that was the place they went for dinner. No. Oh. They went to Olive Garden for dinner. Oh, yes, Olive Garden. Our last Olive Garden experience kind of sucked. Typically, we like Olive Garden. Not my favorite place to go, really. But I, I do enjoy their uh, chicken and shrimp carbonara. And typically when you get that, it's like, what, 17 bucks, mm -hmm. I think. But it comes on a huge, gigantic, you know, what's fucking plate. I swear they either cut their portions or gave us lunch portions for the dinner price that day. So I was so disappointed. <laughs> I got this small bowl of chicken and shrimp carbonara. I fully expected to be miserable at the time I was eating it. I'm like, well, thanks for the appetizer. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was very expensive. The portions were not that good. I don't think everyone's food was that great that time either, was no. it? No, no. It was during. No, it wasn't during COVID. It was before COVID. Yeah, it was before. And I paid about almost a hundred dollars for four of us. Yeah, it wasn't any cheaper. Hundred bucks for four of us Olive Garden, which is more it was than lunch time. But I, again, I specifically asked for the dinner portion, yeah. and I paid the dinner price. Actually, it might have been. Dinner or it was close. Yeah. But we asked. Pretty sure we asked. I was like, I want the dinner portion of the chicken and shrimp carbonara. Because mm -hmm. I, I want to be miserable by the time I'm done eating this. And I don't just want to fill up on their fucking breadsticks. Their breadsticks are... Uh, I'd rather have Soli's breadsticks. Like if Olive Garden could uh, incorporate that mm -hmm. into the breadstick menu, that'd be great. These big fucking garlic buttery soaked hot breadsticks. Yeah. would be great. That would be good. I'm not a big fan of their salad either. I mean, it's okay. I'd rather just have a nice Caesar. Yeah. Caesar salad's a shit. They're so plain. I'm not plain. Caesar salad's amazing. Yeah, did you wash my banana pants too? Yeah, they're in the dryer. What? <sighs> I washed the rest. Of, try me get dressed. I washed the rest of my clothes. That the shirts I couldn't hang up before and load a load of laundry because I only got so many slots on this <sighs> drying rack. Wish we had an indoor clothesline. Really. Just, what the fuck was that? That's stink bug. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say that you should make a built-in clothing rack in my closet. We don't have a lot of room in there. You need to make room. Oh, fuck. Well, I don't know. This is ridiculous. You can't just make something that can't happen. Well, I always do shit. I have to be a fucking miracle. What are you fucking? Are you, you puff the magic dragon? Yeah. To live by the sea? Yeah. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. And he frolicked in the autumn mist. And Elena, come fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember watching that movie back in the day? Yes. Ah, yes. I did too. I was young. I actually had the record to that theme song. The record. I had I have the vinyl life, record. By the way. Oh. Oh, well. I, all the Tylenols out there. And there's the box. But no Tylenol on it because I put the other Tylenol bottle in your lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of... Don't you think you might need this? I'm glad I didn't try to buy anything. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I come in here when you're in the bathroom, like, uh, I thought this, I'm glad you didn't try to buy anything today. Because I wanted a soda. <laughs> well, you weren't going to have it. For fuck's sake, why do you take all the, it's not all the, take everything out of my lunchbox and never put it back where you got it? I didn't take that out of your yes, lunchbox. You did. I did not. You brought that in here. <clears throat> Actually, I know you had it in your pocket. 
No, I had a, didn't have it in my pocket. I brought it in here for my benefits, just in case I need my oh. driver's license number. Speaking of, did you get reimbursed for that bullshit you bought yesterday? No. No. Did I have you? to set myself up as a vendor, and I keep forgetting to avoid a check. Oh, fuck. Avoided check. That's ridiculous. We, we have a checkbook in the car. I can't remember to get it. I told you this morning. Get off my dick. Before you walked back in, I was like, take this check. No, you did avoid not. It. And you're like, babe, do I look like I have time to avoid a check right now? <laughs> I probably would have said that. <laughs> but I did get your breakfast sandwich. Yes. Yes. And then, yeah, because you had to go. Dude, to I was so again. confused about that uh, monster. The problem was they had him positioned wrong. Uh, I noticed uh, there was like an extra row of one kind, so I pulled it out, and there was that salted caramel one right behind it. Oh. I was like, oh, well, that's where that's why I was like, I don't know what this fucking salted caramel thing is. And I just happened to find it right after I text you. I was like, ugh. I'm like, why do we have to be so specific with, and picky with monsters? Java monsters. That was monsters. the um, receptionist. I was like, and she already had one. I know. Oh. I saw that on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to drink another one. Fuck. But I said, he's going to be back <clears throat> because um, I need a Red Bull because I've got to work till 9 o'clock tonight. Mm-hmm. She goes, oh, I, sh I wish I would have known. I would have had him give me something. Rattled shit off. I said, hold on. What do you want? And I can text him. Mm -hmm. That's what she said that. And then I think she tried to give me money, but I, oh, I was fucking busy as hell. You need to tell that bitch. That ain't no little bitch. Ew. I don't just go out and buy shit for people. Because <laughs> they know I'm there. Well. I don't even know this bitch, first and foremost. <laughs> Second off, I'm buying something for someone I don't even fucking know. I know her. Shut the fuck up. Third, I don't know her. I don't like her. No. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know her. God. <laughs> Can't like you till I know you. Oof. Till I don't know you, you're a stranger. And as far as I'm concerned, strangers are assholes. Not all of them. Not all of them. Until you get to talking to someone. Most of the time when they open their mouth, that's when they become an asshole. Oh, this is true. Especially especially those uh, dudes that want to give you a BJ underneath the overpass. <laughs> they don't want to give you a BJ. BJ, they just want money. Yeah, for a BJ. <coughs> Sir, that is prostitution. And I do not engage in prostitutional activities. It's prostitutional a word. I don't fucking know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like constitutional. You just make shit up as you go. I don't make things up. Seriously. When's the last time I made something up? Just now. I did not. I said prostitutional. prostitutional. It could be a word. Are you it could be, but it could not be. Are you Googling it? You want me to? Sure, why not? Ms. McStud will now Google if prostitutional is a word. It just seems American. Right? No. I have to bring my house spelled. P R O. I got it. It's prostitution with an A L. I know! Shut the fuck up! I can't see how it's not a word. Like it's it an to... adjective. Yeah, it has to be described. I was about to say it has to be describing an activity. But it's not comparable or relating to prostitution. So what the fuck is it describing? Is there a definition for prostitutional that's like completely off the wall that doesn't relate to selling your ass for sex? <laughs> or your mouth? Or your twat? I love when this is Of or relating to prostitution. That makes no fucking sense. It just said it wasn't related to prostitution. It says not comparable of or relating to prostitution. <sighs> Pretty sure in our constitutional guidelines, they go over prostitutional guidelines too. Right? Prostitutional. Oh. <laughs> what? This is the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Well, that banging, <laughs> amazing, unbelievable. Yo, that score I just got on the test was prostitutional. Now, a lot of times, Urban Dictionary is comical. That this doesn't make sense. Like, wow, like, oh, it's prostitutional. <laughs> Let's just go with steezy. Style with ease. I'm steezy. Oof. I'm steezy, breezy, and ready to 
please me. Did that just say damn? Yeah, probably. Damn, that was a sneezy ass kick flip, son. Yeah, steezy, not sneezy. Steezy. We ain't That's talking about said. the. You said sneezy. No, I didn't. Now we can rewind this. Fuck <coughs> my dick. Wasn't sneezy one of the seven dwarves? Yeah. You know, why didn't they create an eighth one named Horny? I mean, they all sat around this. What was uh, Snow White when she ate the poison apple? Mm-hmm. And you don't think they had a they ran a train on her in her deep trance of a sleep? That's ridiculous. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go on Snow White. Right? No. Why? Stop. What? Quit asking me questions. Snow White was a hoe. You know how I know that? Because mm -mm. she lived with seven dudes. <laughs> and you think she lived there for free? Because they were the ones that worked. She didn't. Oof. Every living place has a cost. You make my head hurt. I do not make your head hurt, baby. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Are you tired? Yes. Have you yawned yet in this video? Yes. You want to yawn again? I want to write a book. In the words of you, you know what we can call it? What? The Yawnal Confessions. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I tried to sit down here and relax with you and you're just rambling at the fucking mouth. I'm a rambling man. <laughs> I hate that song, by the way. That song annoys the bejesus out of me. That ranks right up there with Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire always reminds me after I have some hot wings. And I have Ring to poop. Of fire. <laughs> That's my asshole. After something spicy. Yeah. Yes, it's a ring of fire. Like, I, I didn't like that song either. It irritates there. me. Not, there you go. Second. Oh, should have stuck my dick in there. Sorry. No, like, I, I don't mind some Johnny Cash, but that song just sucks a bag of dicks. I'm sorry. You know, every, every artist has their song that sucks a bag of dicks, and that one's, that one's it right there for old Johnny. The ring of fire. Actually, I think he had another one that sucked a bag of dicks, too. I can't remember what it was called. That's like November Rain for Guns N' Roses. That song sucks a bag of dicks. No, it doesn't. I know. I'm just kidding. I like that song. Ew. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you smoking? Can I have some? I'm pretty sure I can name any, any one of my favorite artists. It has like a, like a whole album I love, but there's one song on it that sucks a bag of dicks. Or they have a song or multiple songs that just suck a bag of dicks because not everyone can just make magical music and every song is great except for those goddamn Dave Matthews fans. I've always hated the Dave Matthews band, but they swear to God, every fucking song is the most magical fucking thing possible. Oh my God, Dave Matthews, I want to listen to everything you have today. The fuck? Uh. That rings right through with fucking Jack Johnson too. He sucks that. a bag of dicks. I might know some songs. I don't know that name. He's like one of the little acoustic guitar singer bullshit fucks. Oh. Nothing wrong with acoustic guitar, but I, I just dislike his music. Like, I'd rather listen to Mr. Rogers sing It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. One really? of my coworkers said she feels like Mr. Rogers. Why? Because she's always going in and put, taking her coat off, and then she gets cold and put a sweater on. Oh, God. What does she put on her tennis shoes? And we're sitting outside... And she goes, I just want to sing, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, every time I come into work <laughs> and change my sweater. There's an off-the-wall subject. I wonder if anyone's ever made a porno based off Mr. Rogers. You know, they come in wearing some general street clothes, and they get undressed, and all they put on is a thong. And then I hear this. Speaking of naked, my resident was naked again. Oh, no. Did you see it? Oh, today he had a diaper on. Oh. Well, that's not But at least naked. he had a diaper on. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. the whole time the housekeeper, he's been having real bad behavior, so the whole time the housekeeper was in the room, he was laying butt naked in his bed. Oh, but you didn't get to see the magic stick? Negative. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember that song, My 50 Cent? Get the magic stick. Yes. I got the magic stick. But the dietary... Manager told him to go put um, clothes on, 
and he's outside my tall window, and he just goes and opens his, his whole camera right there in the hallway. We can't see because my window is high. You know, in all honesty, if I ever had to be put in a place like that, I would probably do the same shit. She goes, go put clothes on. Because you could just see his chest. It was his gown was open. And he just holds his gown right open. I didn't know. That'd probably be me. Like, but I'm hot. And we just start laughing. I might just have to pretend to have behavioral <laughs> issues. And then we told him to put his mask on. And he put his mask on and then it was down here. Mm -hmm. And then he was showing off. So he started biting it. Oh, God. He had it on, though. <laughs> <laughs> see, if I have to walk around in the gown, I'm going to go fast in the back. You're going to see my he ass He doesn't cheeks. have to. He has clothes. Well, that's right. He I chooses can, to. I can have clothes, too, but I want to wear the hospital gown with, like, my ass. This, get oh, in the air. he opens it in the front so he can flash everybody. <laughs> <sighs> and we've been trying to throw away this chair in his room. <clears throat> we've had several people go up there. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to take this chair outside. He'll sit butt-ass naked right in that chair. Like, if he knows you're coming to take that fucking chair, he'll sit butt-ass fucking naked right there. <laughs> he will just strip down right now. <laughs> so, I got a question. Do they, do they ever get served, like, hot dogs and brats and stuff for yeah. meal? Do they get mustard? Yeah. See, this is what I would do on hot dog day. i go sit in that chair and I'd dribble some mustard straight on my cock. I'm like, you want to take this chair? Come get the dog. I'm sure he's said some pretty crazy stuff. I already got pre-made relish on it already. What was he mad at? Oh, he came down. He don't even have dentures. Mm -hmm. He come down and, and is telling me that the pork chop they had for dinner hurt his dentures. So he's got teeth? He has real teeth. Oh, shit. <laughs> he was just trying to get more food. <laughs> I said it. You don't even have dentures. And he goes, yeah, I do, mama. Take him out then. No, you don't. And the whole time he's just drooling everywhere. But maybe it's going to fall. You just wanted a gummer from him. No. <coughs> you ever he got, has teeth. You ever got a gummer? Mm -mm. I haven't either. But that day you lose your teeth, Miss McStud. I'm not going to lose my fucking teeth. Give me the full force of the strength of those gums. On this cock. No. What? You ain't gonna lube him up. Oh my god, it's only 9.45. Yeah. Sad thing is, we usually were at home for quite a while for these videos. I just literally got home with her right before this video. We had time to open a beverage and take a few drinks and like, fuck it, we're gonna do our video and get it done for the well, night. we didn't fuck it. Because I don't have that much energy. What? You said and we just fuck it. You didn't say we just said fuck it. You just said we just fuck it. Oh, well, you know. Thank you. Oh. Are you thirsty? Yeah. Is that deserved? Yeah. After a long day of your tits sweating? My tits do not sweat. How do you know? <coughs> Some hot tits like that. So have what to if sweat. I go in late tomorrow? Okay. We still gotta wake up with the kids at what time? Uh. Um, I got to make sure they're awake by school time because your daughter will probably have a Zoom meeting at some point. I'm not sure what time because I'm pretty sure they're going to go over the study guide and your son has to be ready for his Zoom meeting at 835. Mm -hmm. So should I just go to work? No, you can sleep in. I'll take care of it. No, I I'm usually no, awake no. at that time anyway. Fuck. Yeah, you got old person. Fuck right you. Right. I got you. Get your old. Let me show you this old person dick. Okay. Nope. Hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You don't even have anything. <laughs> you wanted to keep arguing. What is <laughs> tomorrow's October 1st, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, in six days, I'll be 32. 39. 32. Oof. 32. Well, I wish I was 32. I don't even get paid until the 6th, so. Uh huh. You'll have to wait. For what? Six. For what? For a birthday present. I don't want a birthday present. I got you every day. You're the gift that keeps on giving. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Uh, you fucking kidding me? 
I don't need that one. I got you. I'm happy. I get. I pick you up from work every day. That's my gift. I get you. Bring you home. Because I sit at home and I stick two fingers in my butthole and I fart. That's probably why your butthole bleeds. My butthole does not bleed, first and foremost. That's questionable. Now, a lot of air and fecal matter come out of it. Yes. Hey. What? That's disgusting. Can no. you trim that shit? What? Your beard. When I get a chance to. You have to do it two times at least before No Shame November. No. After this time, it's going to stay. So it's like a Well, tall... then you need to do it ASAP. It's not, I, it's, I, I don't do No Shave November. I do Movember. Well, I just do the mustache. That's driving me nuts. You I'm just, over it. You just wish it was your lips. <coughs> Yours? Yes. I can't even see your upper lip. You don't need to see my upper lip. Just know it's there. And these, hair, these mm -hmm. hairs will tickle your clitoral regions. Yeah, well, probably not anytime soon, so keep it to yourself. Boy, if I shave before giving Miss McStud the one last ride, not like The Undertaker, but, but she wants the one last ride before I shave it. She just was like, I like the way it feels. Yeah, well, it looks good, but thanks. What? For not doing that. I haven't. I know. But if I bend you over, I can just lick your asshole and it took you your... You're your, disgusting. Your, 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 uh... Fuck, I can't even think of a word to describe Good. that. Just shut up. Your toot hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. I am not an ass flicker. Are you? No. You want to be? I got an application. Mm -mm. Application to lick my ass. Sorry, I just don't have the energy. Like, to lick my ass? Like you have. You have all this energy and I'm just sitting here. That's okay. Are you going to drink? Yeah. Okay. I mean, wait, 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 wait. at least someone has some energy because sometimes we got to keep each other up. Every once in a while, I'm, I, I'm, I have brain farts and you got to be like, what the fuck, McStud? I don't have any energy, though. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> that don't be sorry. Hey, can you pour some of that cold in here? Uh, no. Why? I'm not fucking sharing that with you. Not even. No, I fucking bought liquor. You got to be fucked up. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked up, so go ahead. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> Where did that shot my face sparkling it? What? That whole bottle. It wasn't in your face. It was in my way. It was in my bubble. <clears throat> you was holding it up over here like you expected something. We ain't got no bubbles. But you ain't getting none of it anyways. What? My fucking malt liquor. So stop pulling it over here like you're expecting something. I am a man and women have to I give I get two fucks Women have to are. make sacrifices to give the man what they need. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a, yeah. <laughs> if I really believed that, she'd smack me upside the fucking head. Mm -hmm. Like this motherfucker. Be like, and not today, you aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, typically, it's me offering up all the sacrifices. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? No, it, no, that's not gonna work this way. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you're spoiled, though. Maybe. Maybe. A little bit? Yeah. A lot yeah. of bit. I a lot of bit. <laughs> I hate it and like it at the same time. It's a bad combination. You hate it and like it at the same time. <clears throat> kind of like anal. You're so nasty. You're the one that likes anal, not me. Mm -mm. I just got to say it because it always gets you like, the fuck I do. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for chatting with us, even though no one chat chatted back. Because it's a recorded video and no one's, it's not live. Um, tomorrow's Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Thursday Night Football. We'll catch you bitches tomorrow for that. I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. Thanks for watching the McStud Show. I'm about to put my dick between her titties. No, the fuck you Okay, deuces. <laughs>